Hello friends, this video on plant growth and development part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Growth Differentiation, de-differentiation and re-differentiation Development Plant growth regulators and photoperiodism. So plant growth and development. I don't really need to introduce this lesson as the name is self-explanatory. So we are going to talk about the growth of plants. We all would have seen small plants, not only plants, even the seeds growing into huge plants, right? In our garden, we would have often planted a, a very small plant, a tiny one, and over a period of time, maybe over a few weeks or and few months, you can actually see the plant growing. Not only growing in height, but also growing in width. The number of leaves are increasing. The, the thickness of the stem is also increasing. So it actually grows in all aspects. So here in this lesson, we are going to talk about those mysteries inside a plant which helps it to grow. So what are those substances present in a plant which actually promotes their growth or which actually tries to inhibit, inhibit the growth? So we will dedicate this lesson on growth and development of a plant. So growth and development, these two terms sound quite similar, but they are not actually similar. So here we'll also look at what do we mean when we say development of a plant. So we'll have a look at that as well. So with this brief idea in mind, we will start our discussion on growth and development of a plant. So the first question is, what's, what is growth? Now, I think all of us are aware of the term growth. We in, even, all of us were growing. When we were kids, our mothers used to tell that, okay, eat well, uh, drink milk, so that you grow to a healthy person. Because not it was not only our height which was growing, but everything was like increasing with our age. For example, compare your fingers with uh, the side kind of fingers you had around say 15, 16 years back. They are different, right? So you have grown in all aspects. So what is that growth? I mean, how do you define growth? It is definitely something increasing, of course. So how do we define it? It is a positive change over a period of time. So whenever we say something is growing, we always mean a change which is positive. If I say, I mean, we also use this term growth, not only for living organisms, but also for non-living objects like money. We often say that, okay, that person is growing in his career. What do we mean? That means he is getting promoted in his career. He is doing better in his career. Right? That means we say, okay, he's growing. Again, sometimes we say that uh, uh, his money is growing. That means whatever money he has left in the bank or maybe invested in some business, that is growing. So the money is actually increasing. So the growth, the term growth always uh, indicates a positive change over a period of time. Now, this change can be in terms of size, this change can be in terms of weight or height. So, the parameter can be anything. So, when I say growth, it is a positive change over a period of time. So, look at this elephant and the baby elephant. So, even the adult elephant was also a baby elephant. So, this transformation took place, did not take place suddenly. It took place over a period of time. So the growth took place over a period of time. This is an irreversible change. This is very, very important. Now, you cannot reverse it back. Now, you cannot ask this adult elephant to become a baby elephant. That is not possible, right? So that is how it is an irreversible change. You cannot reverse it back. So you compare yourself. We also have come across this irreversible change. We were small kids and then we gradually grow up to an adult. So similar is the case in case of plants as well. A plant which has already grown up cannot go back and become smaller. 
So this is growth. Now growth as a whole occurs due to many processes taking place inside the body of a living organism. When I say metabolic processes, that means there are many reactions taking place inside our body. They can be anabolic or catabolic. That means reactions where complex molecules have been broken down into smaller ones or smaller molecules joining up to form bigger ones. So both kind of processes are there and of course these metabolic processes take place inside the body of a living organism at the cost of energy. So you need energy to grow. And as I mentioned quite a number of times that we all eat food to get energy and we need energy to do almost anything. Nothing is for free. So whatever each of the cells of the body is doing, whether they are preparing food for us or they are synthesizing ATP, so whatever they are doing, they all need energy. So even for growth, you need some energy. So if there is no energy, you will that, that person cannot grow. For example, you would have seen that people who are like the poor people who do not have enough money to eat good food. So what happens if they are starving for a long time, you can actually see that the growth in their body is not proper. The weight of a child who has not been fed properly is not the right weight. I mean, he's always underweight. That is because he does not have sufficient energy for the appropriate amount of growth. So now the next question is what is development? Now if you say that okay growth and development are not the same thing then tell me what is it? Again okay. development is another term which we all come across in our day to day life. I mean we often use this word development. So what is that? We often use it in context of the development of the country. We often say, okay, the country is not developing or the country has already developed a lot. So what is that development? It, it refers to the overall changes that a plant undergoes throughout its life cycle. So when I talk about growth, I'm talking about the increase in some parameter, maybe increase in height or increase in weight or increase in size. So there is an increase or a positive change of some particular parameter over a period of time. That is growth. But when I say development, I do not mean just a positive change. It means all the changes that take place in the life of a plant. Now, when you say life of a plant, from where does the life of a plant start? It starts from a seed, seed right? So that you germinate a seed and then it forms a seedling and then a small plant, the plant gradually grows and matures to form a bigger plant and gradually over a period of time, it turns into a huge tree. So if you compare it starting from that seed, so from seed to the huge tree, there were several changes that took place, right? The shape of the seed was something else. Now the tree looks something else. There are leaves, so many leaves in fact, flowers, fruits, which were not there when it was a seed. So all these changes that the plant underwent throughout its life cycle, that is called development. So when the plant actually goes through all these phases in its life, we say that the plant is developing. We don't say that the plant is growing. Of course it is growing because it is also increasing in size. So basically growth is just one part of development. When we say development, we not only mean growth, but we also mean other changes that take place in the life cycle of the plant. For example, the germination of seed. That is a process where the seed turns into a seedling and the seedling gradually gives rise to a plant. So when the seedling is giving rise to a plant, so the shape and so many things, the structure, everything changes, right? So you cannot call that as growth because in growth, it is just that increase in size or increase in some parameter. So that is known as development. So please try to understand the difference between growth and development. When you talk about growth, it has to be one particular parameter which is uh, going through a positive change over a period of time. When you talk of development, it refers to all kind of changes that take place throughout the life cycle of a plant. So growth is also a part of development. So when you talk about development, 
of a plant it includes various processes because the life cycle of a plant passes through several processes like embryo formation the formation of the embryo after the reproduction take place seed germination of course plant maturation formation of flowers and fruits again seed formation so you see it is like a cycle so the life of a plant starts from the seed seed germinates seedling small plant the plant will mature it will become a big plant so that plant will again have the reproductive structures like the fruits and the flowers so it will again undergo reproduction the result of reproduction would be a seed and the seed will again give rise to another plant right so in this like entire life cycle this all these are different processes so these all processes together is known as development so here you can see the life cycle actually so this is your seed which gradually germinates to a small plant and this plant will gradually bear the reproductive structures like the flowers or the fruits so it, it becomes a mature plant now so this plant will again undergo um, reproduction and it will give rise to seeds and the seeds will again form seedling so this is how the life cycle of a plant will continue so development will always refer to all these different processes which are part of the life cycle of a plant but when we talk about growth it just means some particular parameter is increasing with time so that is referred to as growth so you can please remember that growth is just one part of development so let us quickly have a comparison between growth and development. So when I talk about growth, I am actually talking about the quantitative changes. Quantitative, something which you can quantify, something which you can measure, right? Because as I say, it is an increase in size, whether it is increase in height or weight or area or volume or increase in the number of cells. So you can actually measure it, how much is the increase. So that means you will measure it. Whereas development is qualitative changes. Whereas when you talk about development, they represent the qualitative changes. For example, everything is not measurable. Now, let us take the example of the life cycle of a plant. Now, when the seed changes into a seedling or when the seedling changes into a, uh, a young plant, you actually cannot measure how much did it develop, right? So, it is not uh, a, a very quantitative or a measurable uh, quantity, but growth is uh, definitely quantitative. Growth is a part of development. As I said before also, development is the overall change. So growth is just one part of development. Growth continues till maturity or later. So in some plants, growth stops after a certain period of time. For example, the seed develops, becomes a seedling, then it, it becomes a plant. Now that plant will grow, right? It will increase in size. The leaves will also increase in size. But in some plants, the growth will stop at a certain time. For example, the size of the leaves might increase only up to a certain size. After that, it will not increase. So for growth, it, it does not continue throughout the life cycle. It continues only for a certain period. Whereas if you talk about development, it continues forever. When I say forever, it starts from the formation of seed. When the seed also is not formed, from there it starts. And then the seed forms a seedling, a plant, plant grows, matures again, form the reproductive structures. And till the plant dies, development continues because development means the different processes which are taking place in the life cycle of a plant so some of the other processes will be taking place right so the process of development will continue forever starting from birth to death of a plant but growth will continue only for a certain period changes in growth are measurable because they are quantitative changes but in development changes are not measurable but they can be assessed for example right now okay the plant is in the stage of a seedling so you can assess how much did it develop but you cannot actually measure how much is the development of the plant right so that is how we can differentiate between growth and development so now we will talk a little more about growth we will try to see uh, what are the different types of growth and how what are the conditions required for a plant to grow so let us talk more about growth 
So here I have shown in the picture the difference between growth and development. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.